What's going on folks? Dylan here from Fabrication Guy. In today's video, I wanted to give the Prime Weld Cut 60 another chance at cutting one thick inch mild steel. So if you guys saw in my last video, I took this machine here and I did a variety of cutting tests with these little plates that I cut. These are quarter inch thick mild steel plates. And I cut those up and I did one piece for a quarter inch cut, two pieces for a half inch, three pieces for three quarter, and four pieces for an inch. And I'll have a link to that video down in the video description if you guys wanna check it out. And I'll have a link to this machine, the Prime Weld Cut 60. And so in that video, I showed all the different thicknesses that we cut and I wasn't quite able to cut through one inch. Since watching that video, I think I could have done a better job at attempting to cut through that one inch. And I think that I didn't have my PSI on the cut 60 on the air pressure as high as it should have been. So what I did is I referred to the manual over here. And if you guys take a look here, uh, if you look, we have 60 amps right here. It's 75 PSI. And this machine is technically only rated to cut three quarters of an inch. And it does so really well. And you guys can see that in the previous video that I'm linking down in the video description. That's like the, the entire cut test video. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that three quarter inch rating of three quarter. We're gonna push it up to one inch and I'm gonna try to go a little bit slower to see if we can get full penetration of the one inch mild steel. So at three quarter inch, we're looking at 11.81 inches per minute, which is pretty damn good. Uh, but with the one inch, we're obviously gonna go a lot slower, probably talking five inches per minute, maybe six inches per minute. We're gonna go really slow just to see if we can get through one inch. So here are my plates here, just to show you guys. I have them all lined up, as you can see there. And then I have a plate here on top just to give myself a straight edge to pull against uh, because the plasma cutter does come with a standoff guide. As you can see here, this is the standoff guide. So I'm just gonna be using this straight edge to pull against to give me a nice straight line so it looks really good if it does make it all the way through. So on the machine side of things, as you can see, I got the prime weld here. One of the things you can check is if this is the air pressure gauge, as you can see, we're right at 75 PSI. But what I can do is I can activate this set air switch here and I'm at 60, uh, 60 amps. You can't really see it because the, the camera kind of washes out the LED, but at 60 amps, and when I hit set air, what this will do is it'll cycle air through the torch. So I'm gonna hit that. And as you can see, my pressure drops down just below 70 PSI. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pull this cap out and I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit until my set air is right at 75. Do a little bit more here, a little bit more. All right, so that should do it. So that's 75 PSI right there with the switch on. When you turn the switch off, it does shoot up a little bit, but that's the actual pressure that we're gonna be pushing through the board. So she's all set up, so let's go ahead and run her and see if we can cut through that one inch. All right, this is 220, 60 amps on the Prime Weld Cut 60 versus a one inch thick piece of mild steel. Here we go, we're gonna take it nice and slow. So there is the final result. My hypothesis was correct. Uh, turning up that air pressure and making sure that it was at 75 PSI while it was going through the torch did give me the results I was looking for. You can see there, it did cut through all four pieces. Um, it really was struggling, but it did do it. Lots of slag there at the bottom. And you know, that's what you can expect when you're cutting something that is very, very over the maximum limit. Uh, you know, like I said, the limit of this machine is advertised at three quarters of an inch, but the fact that it can do one inch is pretty impressive. Toward the end there, I did blow out a little bit of the metal, trying to make sure that I went all the way through. But 
very, very impressive for the price of this machine. The reason this machine is so interesting to us and we're really happy that Prime Weld sent it out is the Prime Weld Cut 60 is right around 650 bucks. It's a dual voltage machine that goes up to 60 amps. It's got a good build quality. And for the price, there's really no machine out there that can touch it. And one of the main reasons why I tell a lot of people to get this machine is because it comes with a three-year warranty and the Prime Weld support is actually based in the US. So if you call these people and you have a problem, um, you can actually get parts and things and talk to a real person uh, who's in the US. And at this price point, that is unheard of. And uh, so for 650 bucks, I think this is a great deal. And you know, looking at performance like this, you know, cutting one inch mild steel, for 650 bucks, that is, it, it, I mean, just a bargain within itself. So I've been really happy with the performance to price ratio of this machine. And so I'm trying to give you guys um, all the info you need in case this is a machine that you're possibly interested in. But as you can see, the cut itself is actually, I'm trying to get the camera to focus here, is actually really clean. Like if you needed to use this for something, a little bit of grinding, you know, clean up that slag on the bottom, obviously, but a little bit of grinding, I mean, that is, uh, that's actually usable, right? I mean, you know, it's not perfect. It could be better with a bigger machine, but for 650 bucks, that is pretty impressive. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I'll have links to this machine down in the video description on Amazon. Be sure to check them out if you're interested in the Prime Wheel Cut 60. Hope this video was helpful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see some future videos. And I appreciate y'all watching. Hope it was helpful and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.